Well, Hardwick is America's oldest continuously operated made in the USA tailored clothing company. So joining me this morning are, uh, well, Rob, right? Rob, yes. Okay, yes. perfect. There was two names in the prompter. I was a little yeah, worried there for a minute. It, so it's just Rob. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rob, thanks so much thanks. for joining thanks us. Thanks for having me. Now, tell me a little bit about Hardwick. I know um, we talked about Made in the USA, but elaborate, please. Yeah, Hardwick Clothes was founded in 1880 by the Hardwick family, and um, uh, we've, we've continued to make our garments mm -hmm. in, the, in the United States the perfect. entire time. And in 2014, uh, the, the company was struggling a little bit, and they were with a fifth generation president. And um, the company was sold to Cleveland businessman Alan Jones. Mm -hmm. um, so in the last four years, we, we were an old company, but we kind of consider ourselves a startup company. Uh, it's all new, a whole new ball game, uh, really pushing the brand name. Mm -hmm. um, and a few things that, that you may or may not know is that in 2016, uh, at the, the Olympic Summer Games in Rio, we provided the wardrobes for all the announcers. That's awesome. And we've also provided wardrobes for the uh, announcers for the, both the NFL and the NHL. Um, so, you know, we're continuing to, to <laughs> try to put our name out there and get our brand going. And um, so we, we've come a long way. We've got a long way to go, but we're going to get there. I've always called you Cleveland's best kept secret because I don't think a lot of people realize that you're based out of right up the road in yeah, Cleveland. Yeah, Cleveland, Tennessee. Yeah, when I traveled, when I, I traveled with Hardwick for about 10 years from 1994 to 2004, mm -hmm. and that's what I used to say. I said, you know, a lot of people. I didn't even know they were still there around. I said, well, we're really the best kept secret. So I kind of mm -hmm. used that, you know, but, <laughs> we're but on the same you know, page. <laughs> I think we're, we're now getting, getting our name out there and known right. quite a bit more than we were. So, so it's, it's a, it's a, a, a process. It, it sometimes gets tough, but it's rewarding in the end. So uh, another award we uh, received the year after we, after Mr. Jones bought the company is in 2015 Garden and Gun Magazine. Wow which a lot of people know more mm -hmm. of the South and Southeast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we were awarded the Style Award um, out of all the entrants, um, and we won it based on our Chairman's Navy uh, Signature Blazer. So that was a great honor to have that our first full year in, mm -hmm. in, as, as the new company. Just affirmation that you're on the right exactly, track. Exactly, exactly. Now, there seem to be a lot of options, especially in the men's, you know, sportswear and businesswear category. So right, what right. really sets Hardwick apart from your competitors? Well, I, I think one of the things we have done that, that we – you know, in the in the past, you know, all of our sport coats and blazers, you had the heavy uh, shoulder pads, the, mm -hmm. the the really heavy chest pieces. And what we've tried to do is create a very soft garment, uh, but keep the uh, integrity of a traditional looking garment. Right, you so gotta when have you the put shape it on, you don't feel anything. So it, you know, once once a, one of our customers puts it on, they're sold because it just almost feels like a sweater. It's, it, there's just not a lot of weight to That's it. Awesome. Um, so we, we've kind of created that new silhouette that we go with, and we also, we, we have our traditional fit, which is, is, is the sort of the old Hardwick make, mm -hmm. and then we have a modern fit that is a little trimmer, and then we also have a slim fit. So we, we've got three different categories that we, that we offer to our specialty So something stores. for everyone and everybody exactly, shape. Exactly, exactly. Now and we've we got... I'm sorry, go no, ahead. No, you're fine. Go right ahead. Um, you know, and we have about 1,500 specialty stores throughout wow. the United States that have sold to Saks Fifth Avenue. So, you know, it's... it's um, we're getting out there slowly but surely. Right, because you don't have a hardware storefront, you put your products right, exactly. in other businesses. Exactly. Perfect. Exactly. Now we have the spring line here. We're going to talk about the summer line a little bit later after the break. But talk me through some of these pieces and what are the trends we can okay. look for. Well, what I'll, what you'll see is, is the first thing that probably pops out is that you know those days of wearing a white shirt or a or a blue shirt and everything had to match is gone. So we. You know, one of the trends is your pocket squares, your shirts, your ties. Right, I noticed you, they don't have to match anymore. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, so, so what we've got here is we've got a, a, a silk and wool sport coat. It's a, a gray right. window pane pattern, and we've paired it with a tropical white gray trouser. Um, and then we've got a blue, you know, just a, a, a little sort of polka dot type mm -hmm. shirt. So, uh, and then the pocket square has some pink and a white. A little bit so, of pink touch. Yeah, so, I you love know, that. just kind of throwing in mixes, and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, and then here we've got one of our navy suits. Um, uh, it's an all-wool, lighter weight, year, kind of a year-round weight wool. Okay. So you could wear it year-round. Um, and, you know, like I said, we've mixed it up with the browns. And, and we, you see a lot of blues and browns in the market. We've seen that the last couple of seasons. Um, and so this is one of the suits we do. Mm -hmm. And then this is another suit. And you'll see that, that um, we've, it's a little black and white check with a burgundy right. window pane so we've got a blue and white shirt and you know it kind of but it works you know the burgundy mix tie, it up. I yeah. mean, you probably can't tell on the cameras at home but there's a little hint of burgundy yeah, the, the, and the striping yeah, on this jacket yeah, the, the window pane is a burgundy color so. um and, and the, what we've done too is is we we look for items with stretch some kind of performance aspect whether mm -hmm. it be natural stretch a little bit of lycra um you know, just something that that gives it more movement and, and a little more versatile with 
with the way it feels when you've got it on. So, so we've kind of gone in that direction, you know, the softness and the performance aspects of garments. Right, something more comfortable. Exactly, because exactly. Because men are in their suits all day, right? Oh, yeah, 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 we are, we are. <laughs> Okay. But you don't feel like you're wearing one now with, with, the, with the fit that we have and, and the, the light components. Um, the biggest complaint I get out of my husband, he has very broad shoulders, and he hates wearing a sports coat because he feels like a little T-Rex. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know, uh, th that's, that's fine, you know, so. Um, Y'all have fixed that. We fixed that. Well, we perfect. have fixed that problem. Okay, yes. well, we're going to talk about some of the summer lines and show some of your summer um, options coming up okay. after the break. And one thing I'm going to ask you when we come back is how in the world do you know what is going to be trendy the next season? Okay. And when do you start working on the next line? So uh, we'll talk okay. about that when we come back. Okay? Sounds good. So stay with us, Hardwick Clothing, talking summer clothes right after this.